Everybody out there wants a strong core, and people tell you all kinds of stuff, right? Do sit-ups, do crunches, do planks. Well, guess what? I'm gonna show you what I believe is genuinely the best move for a strong core right now. I'm gonna start with the most beginner variation and work you up to slightly harder and slightly harder variations, all the way up to something that gymnasts use to strengthen their cores. So follow along from the very beginning, see how far you can go, and post in the comments, let us know how this progression felt for you, okay? So, I'm gonna start by lying down on my back like this. I'm gonna just lay down, drop my shoulders down towards my hips. So right here, I want you to drive your fingers towards your hips like this, and then relax right there. Then from there, what you're gonna do is bend your elbows and find a space between your belly button and your hip right here, and you're gonna push your fingers in. Now right there, I want you to do this. I want you to push your belly out like this and drive your lower back into the ground. You see this little move that I did right here? Where I tilt my pelvis like this, just that little tilt right there where there's no space underneath my lower back. That's how you properly activate your core. So this is the, the first step. And it might feel a little weird, but practice this first because it's going to help you with all the movements I'm gonna show you. So again, push the fingers out, drop the lower back in the ground. Now, once you feel good about this, you can either lift your head, keep it relaxed like this, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Keep the fingers pushed out, lift one leg, then lift the other leg. And if you're able to do that with the lower back press on the ground, and the fingers pushed out, then go to the next step, which is gonna be dropping your heels to the ground, lower back stays in contact with the ground, and then bring your knees back up. Slow and controlled, so this is called a reverse crunch, okay? Now, if you could do this for about 10 repetitions, slow and controlled, it's already gonna, you're gonna feel it in your core, but what you can do to make it harder is, you can put a 90 degree angle in your legs and keep the legs at a 90 degree angle like this. So from there, you can practice again, try to do 30 seconds with the fingers pushed out, and the lower back pressed into the ground, right? Slow and controlled. Now, if this is still too easy for you, you can almost straighten your legs, have a little slightly bent leg raise here like this. So all the way down, lower back pressing the ground, fingers out. Now, if you can do this, straighten your legs all the way, point those toes, squeeze the legs together, come all the way down, lower back still glued to the ground. You can't even get fingers underneath the lower back. Fingers are pushed out, come back up to the start position, all right, just like that. Now, I'm gonna show you the very most difficult position, okay? So just to recap before we go there, position one, boom. Hold it for 30 seconds, if you can do that, great. Position two, hold it for 30 seconds, drop the heels and do it like that. Position three, do it with 90 degree angle, right? Position four, slightly bent. Position five, legs all the way straight like this. Position six, let go of the hands, put the arms overhead and just hold this position. It's called the hollow position. It's what gymnasts use to strengthen their cores. For 30 to 60 seconds, woo! Rest for 30 to 60 seconds, and you can repeat that two or three times around. So whatever variation you choose, you can repeat this two or three times around, two or three days a week. And if you do that, and you really focus on activating your core the right way, this is gonna be the best method to strengthen your core, not just to strengthen your core, but the connection with your core and stabilizing your core properly all the way through one of the most difficult core movements out there that gymnasts use to strengthen their core. So give these a shot, pick a variation, do it three days a week for two to three rounds, and I promise your core will feel amazing afterwards. Hey, if you like the way that we just broke down this one movement into several different variations from beginner movements to intermediate movements all the way to advanced movements, then guess what? You'll love the workouts that my co-founder and I created over at WeShape. Now what we did is we created a workout product that adjusts to you, to your individual needs. So what you do is you click the link, it'll take you to our quiz. During our quiz, we'll ask you a bunch of questions just like a personal trainer would. And using those questions, we're gonna build a customized follow along workout just for you, where every single movement is actually picked for your individual level, all the way from super beginner movements like I just showed you, all the way to super advanced ones. Plus, you can try it for free. So go ahead and click that link, take the quiz, and I'll see you soon for our first follow along workout together.